to start off with giving you a little bit of background. Um, first of all, not everyone here probably knows what OpenStreetMap is in the first place. We like to use this equation. So it's a crowdsourced free map of the entire world, works very similar to Wikipedia. Anyone can sign up for an account and contribute to fix mistakes, add your neighborhood, that sort of thing. I work for the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. We got started in 2010 around the earthquake in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. This is a search and rescue um, person's GPS with OpenStreetMap on it, using it to navigate. So after the work in Haiti, the question was, could we prepare instead of respond to a disaster? Would it be possible to collect the information first? And so what happened is I ended up in Indonesia working uh, with the Indonesian and Australian government to see what we could do. When you do impact modeling, so in preparedness, seeing what effect a disaster might have, you have hazards, which would be like a tsunami or an earthquake, but then you have exposure. Exposure are people, buildings, those sorts of things that would be affected by a disaster. So we started mapping all over Indonesia. Uh, this is actually the president of Indonesia looking at the software in a safe we work on um, to collect information to better plan. But we hadn't worked in Jakarta, but that was where all of us were based. Um, Jakarta ha is um, the capital city of Indonesia. When I speak in America a lot, people don't actually even know where Indonesia is. Uh, it has um, 14,000 islands and is a huge place. So this is a shot from Jakarta. This is car-free night. Normally, this would just be back-to-back -back cars and no one could move, um, celebrating the birthday of Jakarta. This is a shot from uh, the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team's office. You see a bunch of high-rises, but you notice you see a lot of two-story buildings. The point of these pictures is to make you think about the one thing that Jakarta is full of, people. Jakarta proper has 13 million people. The metropolitan area has 20 million. So think about that, the fourth most populous city in the world. The other thing it has a lot of, unfortunately, is flooding. So out of, one out of every five years has the potential to have a terrible flood. Unfortunately, in January of this year, we saw a little bit of this, but we had started doing some preparation ahead of time. So what we did is we got urban village leaders, there's 267 urban villages in Jakarta, and we brought them together with university students. And we sat down at computers and said, where is the important infrastructure in your village? We also printed a ton of maps and sent them out with them as well. Um, your average uh, village office doesn't have a computer here. You're in a very urban city, but most things are still done on paper. The lists of schools, were just all handwritten when we got them. So we started mapping all the schools and government buildings, and then we needed to give something back to people. They don't have a computer. Giving them a sweet application doesn't help, so we printed maps like this. And all this happened around Mar in the month of March 2012. So January 2013 hits. Uh, my team wasn't in Jakarta. We were on the other side of the country. We fly back. Uh, and we're trying to get home from the airport, and this is the scenario from our bus. Knee-deep knee to waist-deep water, a huge uh, portion of the area is flooded. The one thing that was a bit different was we had base data to share with the public where the flooding was happening, where information centers were, and other information. And so this is the first time the preparedness aspect, actually, of using OpenStreetMap got used. Um, this is the office of the Disaster Management Agency. For the first three days, no one could get there. But we at least were able to help them virtually with some baseline data. Following that up, there was a, some analysis into how much was lost. So after a disaster happens, you have to figure out how much it cost. Um, the OpenStreetMap data was also used as a base for this. Um, eventually, the hope is to cycle that information back in so it'll be more up to date. One of the things we'd like to change, though, is we need more people trained ahead of time instead of waiting. It, uh, so we did all this preparedness, but we didn't have enough to react to the disaster. So I have a team now of uh, eight uh, Indonesians that help teach. Um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to, we hit a million buildings this year mapped in uh, Indonesia, all as part of this preparedness ac exercise. This says um, mapped a million buildings and I help contribute. Thank you.